Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing the Frank Muller Long Island Color Dreams reference 1100 DSR. You can see and you can purchase this double retrograde white gold Frank Muller Long Island on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this Frank Muller Long Island. Island color dreams. Now the watch you see on my wrist incorporates a complication, which is uniquely satisfying from Frank Muller because they make so many simple time and date models. It, it almost feels when you get one without a complication, considering master of complications is blazon on the back, it's almost like getting a watch that says world's greatest goldsmith and it has a steel case. So I'm quite happy to see this double retrograde system for seconds, 0 to 30 at the top, 30 to 60 at the bottom. But let's talk about how this watch wears. Now you can see on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, the Long Island actually fits quite well, and that's not just because I am from Long Island. The watch is nicely cambered, so it arcs across the wrist, and the 54.5 millimeter span from lug to lug doesn't seem overbearing, even on a 16 centimeter wrist. I think down to 15 centimeters, you could still wear this watch with good security, proportion, and panache. In terms of thickness, it's actually more manageable than you might expect. 10.5 millimeters it features a nicely rounded flank so a cuff can ride up and over it with ease. And I'll also say across the wrist from what would conventionally be 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock, 32 millimeters is very reasonable. It does have satisfying heft to it. The case is large, its span is impressive, and with a full white gold case back, it has considerably more mass than most modern watches which eschew a solid case back for some sort of pared down sapphire. Here you get more gold and the watch feels it. Now you can see that the strap is wonderfully minimalist. It's a small scale black alligator leather. You can see the stitch is monotone and the edges are folded. Don't be fooled by the stylized screw style lugs. In fact, spring bars are used and conveniently so are pull tab spring bars. So you can easily remove these for deeper cleaning of the case or to simply swap the shoes on your watch. Convenient, easily accessible, and tool free. Now the strap itself is very, very comfortable. Because it is so thin, it sits almost like a second skin on the wrist, and it's paired with a simple but distinctive polished Frank Muller pin buckle, which even recapitulates the arc of the case when you view it in profile. Very nicely done. I talked about the camber of the case, and sure enough, it delivers. It's not just a broncard or a plank across your wrist. It is arced, it is curved, and this is why such a big watch can wear so well on a smaller wrist. Now you'll also notice that the sapphire is fully cambered. That's expensive to do and difficult to achieve. So you're looking at something special before you even get into the high polish of the case and the quality of the white gold used. It's beautiful, rich, glossy, and Again, it's a perfect counterpart to the explosive colors of the dial. A white metal and then every color of the rainbow. There's a reason this watch is dubbed Color Dreams. Now you can see this is one of the more exuberant Frank Muller watches, but it works. Long Island, the land of the flapper, the heart of the jazz age, the site of Great Gatsby lore and legend was this crazy during the first half of the 20th century, especially during the 1920s. If you're going to have a watch coming from the heart of old Geneva that completely breaks the old aesthetic rules of the region, you might want to import some of the sensibility from 1920s United States, especially Long Island, and this watch achieves that beautifully. Now there is a little bit of differential texture. You have the painted numerals, and then you have a set of guilloche cut or stamped numerals underneath them with a translucent blue lacquer over them. So it's also a dial that has great depth and you can see the visibility of those numerals actually varies according to the angle of incidence of the light. Now underneath, you've seen those retrogrades quite a few times, but they never get old. Underneath, it's basically an ETA 2892 in a high grade with a platinum winding mass. The Frank Muller signature platinum winding mass increases the winding efficiency, but power reserve remains 42 hours. Now there is a hacking function such that if you really wanted to synchronize this, you pull the crown and it retains the underlying stop seconds function of the ETA caliber. 
Three ATM water resistance, so you're not going to want to take this one into Hamptons Beach or Robert Moses or Jones Beach Surf if you should visit the namesake Long Island. Nevertheless, this is the one for the party afterwards. You can see it and you can buy it on our website.